Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. So if you can just shut your computers and make sure all your phones are up. Right, we're not supposed to have our phones out anyways, but let's shut our computers and put our phones away. Okay. So the daily question, does anyone know what the case Sweat Bee Painter is about? We haven't talked about it, so I mean, if you know, that'd be great. If not, it's fine. Okay. So Sweat Bee Painter, an African-American man is trying to apply to the University of Texas law. This takes place in 1950, and he's denied entry because he's black, okay? So he takes it to court, and this is the court case Sweat Bee Painter. And the court is going to rule, you can't choose whether somebody gets into college based on race, okay? Based on race and ethnicity. So he's gonna go ahead and get admitted into the University of Texas law, okay? And this case, along with Mendez v. Westminster, is going to set the precedent for Brown v. Board. Do we remember what Mendez v. Westminster was about? You can look at your notes. children. So now we have Sweat V. Painter. You can't deny college admittance based on race or ethnicity. We have Mendez v. Westminster. Hispanics can go to school with white children. And both of these are setting the precedent. Now remember, precedent means to step, set a standard for future Supreme Court case rulings, meaning all cases that come up that are going to go ahead and grab your, uh, wait, 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 I got it, it's recording. Oh. Okay, just go ahead and sit down and we'll get you set up in just a minute. Um, so, the idea here is, is that any case that comes after that's based on the same type of thing, right? So all of these are education cases, which means that all education cases that are dealing with segregation to some form um, are going to be based on these rulings, okay? So now we have the case Brown v. Board that is coming up, and it will be based on these two rulings. Does anybody know what the Brown v. Board of Education case is about? You can check your notes and get with your partner to see if they have it. Shoulder partners are fine, so it doesn't have to just be someone at your group. You can turn over here and ask also. This is Eisenhower. Eisenhower. So these are second 
It's fine if we don't have it written down yet because I can explain it really quickly. Okay, so what other minority group has not been allowed to go to school with whites yet? African Americans. So maybe that's what Brown v. Board is about? Okay, so Brown v. Board of Education allows African American students to go to school with white students, okay? So now that we kind of answered these questions and you have the idea, hey, these two cases allow people that were not white to go to school, okay? Which means they set the standard, the precedent for African American students to go to school with white students. So going forward, this is the question I want you to think about as you're working through Eisenhower today. To set precedent, means to set a standard for future Supreme Court case rulings. Why do you think it's important to set precedent for judges? And why do you think the Plessy v. Ferguson precedent, the separate but equal that said, hey, segregation is okay, did not hold for future segregation rulings? So my question is, Plessy v. Ferguson came before all these cases and it said segregation is okay, separate but equal, okay? But then, the other cases that came after uh, Plessy v. Ferguson disagreed, did not use that precedent, and changed the way that we know education to this day. Why? Why did they do that? Why didn't they go based on Plessy v. Ferguson's ruling and precedent? Why did the precedent change? Okay, and this is important to think about because I think most of y'all know, you know, Roe v. Wade set a precedent, and then Roe v. Wade has been overturned. So why would a precedent not be ignored? Why do we overturn court cases and decide to go in a different direction? So based on the exact same amendments that were ruled, right? Because the 14th Amendment was used in Plessy v. Ferguson and it was used in all of these cases also. So go ahead and start thinking about that. If you have questions about that, answer while you, or raise your hand and I will come and help you kind of formulate some ideas. And then I'm gonna go ahead and number your desks, okay? So be prepared for random calling. Remember, you gotta answer, okay? So get prepared for that randomized calling. So I suggest that everybody in the room start thinking about the answer to that question as you're working through Eisenhower, okay?